Hey, David here with Guide Recommended. I'm gonna do a quick video. I took a friend out the other day. His name is Hunter. Beginning fly fisher, literally the second trip out. Um, we shot up north, did some winter brown trout, and fishing with streamers. So we went through some steps. You know, I showed Hunter, and of course I didn't video it up there. Um, some simple casting with streamers, because you know, you're throwing a sinking tip line. And I've got a, a, a video that talks about how I make those sinking tips, and I'll, uh, you know, I'll direct you to it, go to the, whatever pops up about now. But uh, we'll show some quick videos of some fish. Get uh, stuff out. So, what did I use on my recent trip with Hunter? What kind of setup? So, I took my uh, BBK. It's actually my daughter's rod. BBK five foot or five weight nine foot rod. Um, the BBK TFO BBK is a um, it's a fast action rod. Fast action rod. So, what do I like about that? Fast action because we were, um, I don't know if you're catching that. Because we were throwing streamers with a sink tip on the wheel on the fly line, um, I tend to want something a little bit stiff, stiffer to bring to bring that you know that line up out of the depths of the water. So you'll see when we're casting, um, you'll cast it out. I'll take a little line with it. I'll throw a mend in, let it drift, let it sink, and then you'll you'll swing it back to where you think the fish are at. So that's that's why I like the BBK. A little bit stiffer. Um, a six weight floating fly line, and then on that I attach a sink tip sink tip, that's what this blue is, um, T14 section of line. So I do have, like I mentioned before, a, another video that shows how to make these, but it'll come with one end already kind of pre-made, and then I will wrap the other end um, with some you know, head cement and uh, some some thread and make another loop. So I'll make these in a variety of different lengths um, for the section of water I'm in, to, you know, when we're fishing. I'm about three feet is what uh, seems to be about best. Three and a half feet or so, three, three and a half feet. So that is attached via a loop to loop connection to the fly line. And then onto that, I will put a fluorocarbon, let me snap this so you can see what I got going on here. A fluorocarbon, just because it's a little bit more invisible, um, either a 4X or a uh, 3X. Um, fluorocarbon's a little bit finer diameter, right? Finer diameter is 8 thousandths of an inch. A little bit stronger for that diameter as well. Um, about a seven pound breaking strength. Um, holds a knot pretty well, and then uh, it's supposed to be nearly invisible. So the refractive properties of fluorocarbon are supposed to have it you know, be nearly invisible. So this is a uh, uh, scientific angle or something. Um, how much of this will I put on? I start out with about four and a half to five feet. Let's clip that off. Again, loop to loop connection. So I've got about five feet out. So I'm going to use about six inches or so with a knot. So um, double it over. You can see that. Double it over. Right. Make a loop. Wrap it through. Right. Wrap it through again. So this is a 
double surgeon's loop, right? I'll pull that loop down just a little bit, or the, the knot down just a little bit to make the loop area smaller. Once I get it close, wet it, draw it tight. And there is our, our loop. Let's cut off that tag in. Cut off that tag in. About an eighth of an inch. So that is the loop. Hopefully that's coming into focus. Right. How do we put that on the end? Right. So we pass the loop through, right? You know, the, the sink tip through the loop. Okay. And then from there, I will make a little loop, stick that through the loop in the sink tip. Okay and form another loop-to-loop -loop connection. You can see this has been fished with quite a bit, right? So, um, but that's our loop-to-loop -loop connection there. Okay, what do I do on the fly end? I was using it, it was a little bit, you'll see just as, I mean, it looks bright, a little bit overcast. Um, you know, they say dark water, dark flies, dark water, dark flies. So I was using the, uh, basically the Woolly butter with some rubber legs on it and a cone head on it, right? Olive green um, is really effective that day. In that same area, I've had good luck with, um, love these bunny tail muddlers. You know, this bunny fur, this bunny hair, um, really, it, it undulates in the water. Really love this. A little bit, of, you know, it, it doesn't sink like this woolly butter with the cone, but the shape of that head kind of drives it down a little bit. I'll use a little bit more weight when I'm flying, you know, fishing with this. It uh, simulates a lot of the sculpin that are in the river. All right, so I got my fly. Um, you can do two things here. You can put a clinch knot or, or you can do a, another, let's just stick with our um, uh, double surgeon's knot, right? The loop. So how do we do that guy? Pass it through. Right. Now the thought is that if you tie the, the streamer, I don't know, if you tie the streamer on with a loop, with a loop, you'll get a little bit more action with it. So again, we're just gonna go back to the double surgeons that we just did in a loop. We start out with a little bit bigger loop. We're going to want to be able to pass that fly through it. So I got about uh, five inches. Make that loop. Put my fly through. Right. Make the fly through again. Twice. Right. Again, you want to keep a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a loop down there, right? Pull that knot down just a little bit, wet it, draw it up. So that is a double surgeon's knot to make a loop, and that loop will give that fly a little bit more action. So you can do that with a clinch knot, which, you know, won't have that loop. Turn it off. So there it is. That is the fly we we're using, catching fish. I think in one of the videos you actually see all those rubber legs. Um, that is a size six streamer hook, so it's a pretty good size. Um, those fish, you know, when they're going to hit something, they're going to hit something, you know, pretty good size in the winter time. They're hungry, right? A little bit thinner. So there's a fly cone head, about uh, like I said, five feet or so of leader or uh, tippet material, not a leader. I don't. That's a good thing to point out. I don't really use a leader in that type of fishing because you're, you're really not unrolling that fly onto the surface, right? So we're just going for getting the fly down with that weight, using the fluorocarbon that's a little bit more invisible and in, uh, casting it out. So again, subscribe, right? Subscribe, keep watching Phil um, and learn some fly fishing.